Hey, it's Ben the Coin Geek, and I've got a package coming back here from PCGS to open up. And we'll take a look and see what's inside. Looks like a pretty full box, so let's uh, get rocking and rolling here right away with back to our, uh, our pennies here. It's 1873. Um, Open three question, questionable color. Um, real lovely coin. Yeah, that's too bad on the color on that. I, I still think that the color on that coin is really quite nice. Uh, maybe I'll just stop sending pennies in for a while until they decide to start grading the colors a little bit differently. That seems to be an ongoing theme that I hear from a, a lot of you guys out there on YouTube. So, of course, that's the same thing on this uh, 1887. Real nice original coin. And uh, has a, just a touch of PL surface to it. Questionable color, uncirculated details. So, <clears throat> those are coins that I had sent in, I think, previously to NGC. And I just wanted to get a second opinion on them. Okay, well, this is a fun coin here. This is your uh, 1922 No D. And it is got the strong reverse on it, which is the one that you want on that. And that they called a fine 12. The coins are really hard to grade because the front of the coin is so soft. And then the reverse is very strong still. So you kind of want to look at the reverse of the coin and see how much detail is left on those guys. That's a real fun coin. I think that's probably about a $500 coin on that guy. Um, all right. Well, this is actually a really lovely uh, 1833 half dime. Real nice. So the only problem is uh, they call it environmental damage, AU details. So when you have a lot of the heavier toning on it, sometimes they'll grade them, but if it's too thick, you can see a couple green spots there. They're going to call it environmental damage. If they think that any of the environmental damage is active, they'll actually go ahead and uh, just won't even put it in the holder. So uh, that's a little bit on the disappointing side to get it in the uh, environmental damage holder on that guy. Oh, this is a Colombian half. Um, not a rare coin, but one that uh, a customer had, wanted it sent in. Real pretty toning, though, on, on the reverse. That uh, ship, whoa, here's a little trick for you guys. This is the reverse of the coin. Yeah, the, the date side of the coin is technically the obverse of the coin. So a little bit of trivia there for you. But nice coin, Mint State 63. Probably a $75 coin or something like that. Those guys. All right. So 80S... I believe I had a whole group of uh, PL dollars that I sent in. Yeah. So I had made a video about PL dollars, and then I just grabbed a bunch of the dollars and sent them in. This did not come back PL. It just came back a 63. Um, I'm fine with the 63 grade. It's got that big mark on the chin, on the cheek. Uh, proof-like, though. I mean, the reverse is really proof-like. So, so I think what you're going to see next is a group of dollars that we're uh, hoping to get some PL markers on, even though they're common dates. I mean, here's an ADS, common date. Nice coin. Looks every bit as reflective as the last one. A little bit nicer grade. It doesn't have, the, uh, doesn't have any heavy marks on the cheek. And so this one... 64 PL, so that's a nice grade. That's a fun coin. I like that. And we're going to keep going back and forth with some of these dollars. 
So th this coin is fascinating to me because this coin actually looks like a branch mint proof. I mean, the denticles are super strong and the fields are very, very reflective. And the grade on this 840 was very, very disappointing. <laughs> a 63, uh, you know, I mean, I, I don't even know what to say. The, the cheek is super clean. The fields are super clean. More than anything, I think I'm just disappointed that they didn't put PL on it. And it's hard to tell because of the toning, but in person, this coin looks every bit like a proof. You know, so uh, especially just the way that it struck up with the sharp denticles and everything. And then I had another 84, uh, another 84O. Obviously, it's got the big mark on the cheek, uh, but also with the really reflective fields. So it's interesting because that, that other 84O is just as reflective as this one, but this one's white. And so this one they called the PL, and then this one they didn't. And uh, I think that's kind of a shame. Live by the grading company, die by the grading company. Uh, here's an 84, which I think is not quite as reflective as that first ADS that we looked at. And yet this one has a PL on it. So, uh, you know, I sent it in because it was with the whole group that we were looking at with the PLs. So, but uh, we'll keep going here and see. I got, like I said, I had a whole group of those dollars that I sent in. Um, oh, so this one is not PL, but man, that is a lovely, lovely coin. Look at that cheek. Yeah, really nice coin. Um, you could make arguments for this to come back one grade higher than they did. They called this a 64. Um, the cheek is seriously lovely. Long, the field, when you see that really great field, you'd like to get a stronger grade than that. The, uh, the reverse, you know, I'm, I'm looking to see what it is that they didn't like about the coin, but, um, you know, 64 is to 65. Sometimes, sometimes you're just splitting hairs. Uh, 880. 880 is a little bit better date, and I'd I'd have to look and see where the jump is. But since I got a 64 out of it, I'm guessing that the jump is in 65. But uh, really tough to find an 880 and a 64 or 65 holder. You see a lot of the 840s, 850s. Then all of a sudden the 86 is a super rare coin, uncirculated, and the 87 is tough too. But the 880. You don't see that frequently. <laughs> so th this this just annoys me. Uh, I really th this coin was from an old album. It has all kinds of really fun, unusual toning. The coin in person, at, depending on the light you hold it at, just looks pink, and it's got really a nice look to it. And uh, really clean cheek. High grade twenty one Morgans are actually not that easy to get. Uh, it's not that easy to get them graded in the high grade. Questionable color on this coin is a little bit laughable. I mean, so usually when you when they artificially tone the silver coins, it'll have all those weird, funky, dark blues and greens. Uh, this coin I specifically sent in because I really liked the look and the color. Um, and it was from, like I said, an old Whitman album. So that is disappointing. Very much so. And then last but not least, um, a really, really lustrous $27, $2.5 gold piece. Uh, fantastic look to it. Great, great luster. And uh, that one came back a 64, which is a good grade. I think that's solid. You know, it's got a little bit of contact marks in the field and on the cheek. And then it's got that little carbon spot on it. But all in all, that's a nice grade. That's a good coin. Um, all in all, folks, it is what it is. Uh, this group was really a mixed bag. I got some of those PL dollars to come back PL. And a uh, nice grade on that. Got a nice 22 no D in there. Uh, there's a couple in there that are head scratchers. Um, certain things that I think that they should have called proof-like. You know, things like that. And then the 21... Morgan calling it questionable color, a little unusual. Well, thanks for watching, guys. 
I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe to me here on YouTube and follow me on Instagram. Thanks.